Hey everybody, welcome back to my Battletech Flashpoint series, The 900. So today we're going to take on a uh, another mission for the pirates. The first thing I want to do is have a look at my barracks. Uh, we've got some skill points I think we can raise up for mech warriors. And the first thing I want to do is um, 900 foot Jesus here. We're going to raise his gunnery skill again. Uh, we're going to keep making our way up to bre breaching shot here. That's probably where we're going to go with him. And I don't think that many more have stuff. So we got gunnery here. Um, possum, probably going to want to move up this way. Max evasion is going to be good. So we're going to do that. And red flag still doesn't have anything. Um, Rhea, who is our uh, in close specialist, I think we're going to go with gunnery on again, just to keep that cranked up for now. And Shiv, once again, who's our long range boat, uh, I think I want to raise one gunnery on her for now and just leave it at that. Okay, so let's go to the contracts. We're still readying one of our Panthers, so we'll have an extra mech in the bay. But we're going to do one man's art today, I think. Um, it's a recovery in the polar region, uh, so we'll be facing two lances. There's the person himself we need to rescue, and then we have to get his artwork out as well. So there's going to be two lances at one skull, so probably a couple of light lances that are partially damaged, I'm hoping. And since we're doing okay for stuff, we're going to go max salvage again, except this. And um, what's the commander doing? Oh yeah, we got to put that guy in storage still, so we'll do that later. So let's uh, deploy and get this done. Alright, here we go. Like the polar regions, that's for sure. Keep me nice and cool. But it also keeps them cool too, so we have to be careful. So there's our two facilities. I'm thinking that we need to engage the mechs first. Um, I've played this map a couple of times in the past. Generally we get guys coming straight down the center and then guys that kind of nest themselves up in the hills here. So we can take two approaches. The first one is climbing up this way. And making our round to the tar our round to the first target here, hoping that the other mechs don't see us. We can just engage one group. The other way is to move on this side and go up the hill here and stay on the high ground and just nail people down here and over here when they come up. So and then plus we've got a way to, to retreat down and around here too if we ever had to. Uh, I think in this case though, um, I'm going to take a gamble because I think these are this is probably going to be two damaged lances of mechs and we're going to go the route where we're going to move off to the right side here. So we're going to come across this way first. Got it. Move up this way. One thing I'm missing up from Rotec is not being able to zoom your camera out further. Uh, so we're going to move up the hill here. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to be spotted. Okay. Let's get in the hills first. So I want to engage all the mechs. Like I said, we're going for full salvage here. Oh, we got contacts down in the valley. So I wasn't really expecting that. Although now that I think back, um, I think there was two mechs. Two mechs down in here? The last time I played. So we got two lights and a medium. So there's one of the lights there. We're going to let them move first and then we're going to move in and, and just punish them. So let's reserve. So after playing the, the one and a half skull mission where we faced four mediums full strength uh, and almost losing, well, we didn't almost lose the Vindicator, pretty close. We lost an arm and a uh, leg. Okay, so we're going to reserve again. Um, I am going to be very wary about engaging these guys. So that's a vehicle, okay. So not so bad. And I hear another vehicle over here. Okay, so once again, you can see here we're on a big, nice big hill. They can't get up, so there's no melee that we have to worry about or anything like that. So we're going to walk it up here. I want to see what kind of mechs we're up against here. we got a locust and a locust. Ready for that. So two LRM5s, medium laser, medium laser machine gun. So this guy is the more of a threat. We're going to fire everything on him. Eh. It's hoping for a little better than that. Uh, 
Another vehicle coming down. Probably a striker. Minimal damage, but he is stripping my evasion, so it's something, not something that I enjoy. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, so let's get my direct fire boats into position, hopefully. Hopefully. Not quite close enough yet. Can we get down here? It's all going to be indirect. That's fine. Then we're just going to move into here. No point in moving too far. And we'll indirect fire this locust. Tell me what to shoot. Strip that evasion. So bulwark is starting. Bulwark is starting to pay off now on the vindicator. So Shiv, can we get to a direct fire line of sight here anywhere? Can from there, can't we? Is that direct? That's direct. Yes. So we're going to move into direct fire. Want to get that large laser on target. I'm firing. Nice. Okay, there goes the left arm, so an LRM is missing. Now Rhea should be able to... Get to a position where we can see this guy straight on? I'd have to be in here. There's not much room up here for everybody. That's fine. We're gonna we're gonna go in here. Don't mind that so much. We're in a polar region, so the geothermal is not that bad. I mean we are getting a bunch of heat here, but we can deal with it. I'd rather take the chance and try and kill this guy. There we go. Okay, so we draw first blood. Somebody's a chicken. Oh, what's he trying to do here? I have no idea what he's trying to do. Good to go. Okay, we're just going to step forward. Galleon's got like no armor. So let's kill the paper thin Galleon. Made out of paper. Enemy vehicle destroyed. All right. Second kill is ours. All right, Rhea. Can we get eyes on? We can. So let's jump down here. Just want to get eyes on. It is a striker. Armor is okay on this guy. Gonna fire directly on him. Okay, now we can get Possum, hopefully with the large and the LRM straight on this guy. I hear ya. Yeah, here we go. Moving into range. Large laser hopefully connects. We should be able to finish him with that. Yep, there we go. So three up, three down. I feel bad about shooting the little guy. Don't feel bad about shooting them. They're going to shoot you. Firestarter H over here. No armor. There's another vehicle I can hear moving. So Jesus here. Let's get down. Let's take this Locust on. I don't want him behind us. So I'm going to move to a position like this. And we're going to fire straight on this guy. I'm liking the new loadout with the three mediums and the large laser on this guy. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. I think I would almost like to have two larges and two mediums. But we just don't have the weight and the heat sinking to do it. Okay. Damage is light. Alright, so. Standing by. 40, 60. I think we're okay where we are. I'm going to fire on this guy. I'm not even going to move. Oh, missed with the large. I was hoping to burrow through. 
Right torso destroyed. He might be going next. Yeah. He's coming in for a melee attack. Whole big 15 damage. Digga, 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 digga. Machine guns. Okay, we're going to move you first. And we're going to step over to here. Actually, we're going to step into the trees. I don't think that fire starter is going to shoot on us, but if he does, we'll take the damage reduction from there. And we're going to fire. Get things started. See what he's doing here. We went into the geothermal, nice. Okay, he's entrenching. So we're gonna jump, get some evasion going, move in like this, I think. So we're gonna just target this guy, we're gonna fire everything. 60% chances are good chances to hit. Nice. Okay, another mech chevron. I know there's another vehicle over here somewhere. I was really hoping for um, a medium mech in here somewhere. But at one skull, I think it's too much to ask for. Um, so what do we do? We just punch this guy. Yeah, let's burrow through him. Let's do this. A little better chance, I think, of actually hitting where we want to. I think if we punched him, we could have got his arm or, you know, something that we didn't want. Okay, it could be a, another Locust with two LRM5s or a Striker or something. Alright, so Rhea has lost some evasion, so we're going to move her first. Let's jump you over here. A little farther there, I think. And we're going to engage this fire starter. So this is another fire starter H. Leave the SRM4 off. Fire the mediums. Nice. Alright, let's see what they do here. So there is a vehicle back there. This guy's going to retreat. Sure. I was kind of hoping he would have his back to us, but can't have everything. Okay, so we're going to reserve. I want to see what this other fire starter does. Hoping he moves and shoots. Looks like he might. I have no idea what he's doing. Waiting on you, Commander. Um. Sure. Do what you want, buddy. We're gonna fire on this guy. Oh, it's 30 and 40. What about this guy down here? 50 and 40. But this guy's taking a lot more damage. Let's go with. Uh, let's go with a better chance to hit. Right, Commander. Well, rather the large hit the than rather than the LRMs. Can strip some evasion. Shiv can do. Shiv and MC um, can do a little bit more. Sorry, I, I call 900 for Jesus MC. <laughs> It's MC900 for Jesus, but that's fine. Alright, a little less chance to hit. Another evasion chevron gone. Let's get Jesus up here. Uh, we can't sprint and shoot, so we're gonna just going to walk it up. And we'll target this guy. Firing with the large laser. At least we'll get a chance to cool off. Wow, three large lasers missed this turn. That's fine. I think that is probably a striker back there. I don't know if they've got another mech. He's going on turn two. Something's going on turn two. It's a vehicle. That's two LRM fives. At least it seems that way. Okay, let's go with um. Let's go with Possum first. We're not going to move. We're just going to fire straight on this guy. We've got a much better chance to hit now. There we go. 
It's going to force him to move now, I think. Nope. Fire shutter's running away. The other guy. Leaving his buddy to die. Ready for orders. All right, Shiv. Stick a Shiv in this guy. Oh, missed with the large laser again. Let's see what he does now. Okay. Yes, Commander. Let's jump to here. So we can see the guy in the hill. But I'm thinking... I probably want to shoot this guy. No. We don't. We want to shoot this guy. Much better chance to hit. Fire three mediums. Okay, one hit. Not bad. So there's two vehicles back there. Okay, cool. Much happier about that. I'm gonna walk it up, save some heat. We in range with the mediums? No, we're not. Just got the large left. I'm gonna fire on this guy. Okay, a torso hit. Nice. So that's a lot of armament gone. So we're gonna need fire starter parts. I don't know if that's two LRM-5s or an LRM-10. Usually the LRM-5s and missiles are split up, but um... Receiving you. It's just the LRMs on this guy. How is he doing though? CT's got 46. 40, 55. We can fire the large on this guy too though, right? Let's concentrate our fire on this guy, I think. 47. Let's fire everything on this guy. I mean, it doesn't really matter who we shoot at this point. These guys are pretty much toast, so... As long as I keep moving away, I'm happy because I can just plink them from long range. I don't even need to move. Slowly running out of LRM-10 ammo, though, so got to be aware of that. Um, but, I mean, we still have half a load left, so... I'll fire on this guy. All right. Yeah, he's not having a good day at all. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Pretty much. I think that was a CT hit, too. Find out here in a second. I don't know what he's doing. What is he doing? Okay, so we're going to give you to... Well, that's a sprint. I want to jump. Let's do this. Because we can. Three medium lasers. Fire. Let's see if we can get this guy. That's enough. There we go. He didn't even fire a shot. Ran in, ran over here, got shot at, ran away, got shot at, ran forward, got shot at, and died. Wow. Let's get some evasion going. We're going to move up here. Got enough heat to do that. Are we in range with the mediums? We are. I'm going to fire everything. All the lasers. I might get lucky. Nah, I missed the large. One thing I will say though, I find the Rogue Tech AI to be far superior. I mean, they'll some mechs will try flanking attacks and things like that, whereas these guys are just kind of like, let's just stand here and ah, this is far. There's no reason to move in. Let's see what he does. He's, he's trying to hide. Yes, Commander. That's the only thing I can say he's trying to do is he's trying to hide. We can spot him from Let's here, though. Go. Ah, well, I'll just fire the mediums. Ah, two hits. Not bad. Orders. I can still see you. Fire a boat. Roger. 
Ah, missed with the large. Like, really? I don't know if he's trying to be a spotter for the vehicles. He's not doing a very good job. Oh, that's sprint. I'm trying to jump here. Keep hitting the wrong button. That's a pretty darn good chance to hit. I'm going to move to there. Don't want to be too close to them. I'll move into this base the next turn. Nice. Left torso. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. I don't think he's got any weapons left. I think he's a walking stick now. No, he's got two flamers in the CT. Okay. Fair enough. Light damage, Commander. Alright, so... Let's move... Um, we don't even need to move possum, we're just going to fire him. No, Shiv is closer, I think, right? Yeah, Shiv can fire both, so she's just going to fire both. Marginally closer, but close enough. I like them apples. Target neutralized. So they don't have a spotter left now. So, possum... Let's sprint it this way. You go, turbo buddy! You go! Commander. Rhea. I'm gonna sprint up here. I wanna cool off. Not worried about sensor locking right now. I don't really need to do that. So we're gonna move here and acquire our asset. Then we'll get our secondary asset right after this. Excellent. I'm gonna reserve. I'm gonna reserve right past these guys. Then we're gonna get Rhea with a lock on and we're gonna start firing missiles on somebody. Alright, who do we want to shoot here? So this guy's at the top of the hill now, so I think if we can spot him. She's not even gonna move, she's just gonna stay right there. So it is a striker. And no real armor per se. I hear ya. So let's move Possum. It doesn't really matter where he goes. On my way. I know he's a little bit unstable here, but not really worried about that. Got great chances to hit. There's a large laser and almost enough with the missiles. Not quite. Uh, we're really heat neutral over here. No worries. Fire with both. We should be able to finish him. There we go. Alright, one left. Vehicle down. And once again, we didn't no need to move in on this guy. Just gonna move back here. Gonna reserve right past him, let him do his thing. Moving himself to a position where he can get his ass killed. I've got a sensor lock. Scorpion. And let's start with possum again. We're just gonna walk forward. You betcha. Close a little bit. Does the medium laser count in? Yep, it does. Maybe we'll be able to finish him one shot here. There it is. Cool. So now we can just push our way to uh, the last point and we're done. Let's get the secondary asset and get out of here. So let's just sprint. Right, Commander. On the move. All right, let's get this done. No sweat. Got it. Good to go. Good for now. Cooling down a bit. Is he not in the uh, base? It looks like he was. Heading out. Let's just make sure we're in there. See, it looks like he's in there, but I guess not. There it is, folks. 30% increase in payment, which really isn't much. 
but it, hopefully it's enough to cover anything. We didn't take any damage. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm worried. So that was a bit of a joke. We got a couple of mech parts. Could take the AC5. Um, what else do we have down here? SRM6s, AC5 ammo. Uh, 6 is what, 90,000? Yeah, 90,000. LRM10 is what, 100 and something? 150,000. Mm. We got flamers too, right? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's just grab the LRM10s for cash. Let's confirm this. So we got the fire starter pieces. So we do have a full fire, star fire starter now on our way to another locust. So we got the fire starter H. That's great. Okay, so there's the fire starter. Great. So we're going to put the commando into storage. And we're going to go to the mech bay and we're going to put the fire starter back into storage. It's cool that we don't have to actually fix anything on this. It's actually kind of nice in these colors, too. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. All right, let's put him in the storage. I think that will be it for today. When we come back next time, uh, I think we've got one more contract here, do we? Hostile Acquisitions is off-world. Uh, it's 20 days away, though, so that's a long time. So we might pull off... That's an ambush convoy, and this is a destroy base. Um, pirate laboratory. Pirate supplies. I don't know. We want to move against the pirates. We're trying to get to be friends with these guys, but ugh, it's kind of a hard decision to make. But anyways, until next time, um, if you like the video, please drop a like. Feel free to comment, because I always enjoy comments, and I always will respond to them. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you all later.